Now we are doing seal 7, the seal of Traheron. To start this seal, as usual, gather all your mirrors and crystals from the box. Then you want to head south, then east, and then north up to the four-way yellow uh, pillar. Once you are up there, you want to head east to this first pillar and put a mirror in it. You want to make the light reflect north. Once the light is reflected north, you want to go to the northern pillar and put another mirror in it so that the beam is facing east now. Go to the next pillar to the east and put your mirror in it so the beam of light is now facing upwards. Once you have done this, take the teleporter that is directly right of it upwards. On the opposite side of the room of the square, you should see a pillar receiving light from below. Head over to that pillar. Once you are there, place a mirror in the pillar so that the light is now facing eastwards. Head to the eastern pillar on the other side of the room from which you just came up through the teleporter. Get over to that pillar and put a mirror in there. You want that beam of light to be facing northwards. Once the beam is facing northwards, go to the northern pillar in the room and put a mirror in it. This should shoot the beam of light west. Follow that beam of light. The first pillar to our west is right next to the seal here. You want to put a mirror in it and reflect this yellow light southwards. That is going to complete one light for the seal. Now we need to do another color, so what you want to do is head back downstairs through the teleporter to the main room. Once you're in the main room, head south and then head west. Head west following the white light out of the main room. At this first pillar, you're going to want to put, that isn't in the main room, you're going to want to put a mirror in there and send the beam of light south. You're then going to want to go to that southern pillar and put a mirror in there and reflect the, the light west. From there, go to the western pillar and put another mirror in there, again reflecting this light north across the gap. Head to the other side of the gap. Once you are on the other side of the gap, you want to go to this southwest pillar and place a mirror in there. You want to reflect the light downwards. Once the light is going down, take this teleporter to the right down a level. To your southwest, you should see a pillar receiving light from above. Go ahead and put a mirror in there and reflect the light east across the room. Go to that eastern pillar now and reflect the light back up. Once you have done that, take the teleporter that you just took down back up a level. You can now take the teleporter again all the way to the top. Once you are here, you should see a beam of light 
or a pillar receiving a beam of light from below that's just south of you, put a mirror in there and reflect the light north. Once you have done that, go north to that next pillar and put a mirror in there and reflect the light east. Once you have done that, you want to head back to the main room and then head east of the main room back to where we did the seal one. In the seal one room, there is a teleporter. You want to take this teleporter up a floor. Once you've gone up a floor, you want to run south and then you want to run west. You're going to see an agility shortcut. Again, another uh, floating book agility shortcut. Take that across. If you fall, you need to go back up the teleporter and try again. Once you are across, you want to continue west, and then at the very west part of the room, you want to head north. At the upper northwest part of this room, you should see a beam of light entering the room and hitting a pillar. You want to put a mirror in this pillar so that the beam of light is now facing south. Head south to the pillar that the beam of light is going to and put a mirror in there. You're going to want to make that light now go east. Once you've done that, head east to the pillar that the beam of light is now hitting and it should be reflecting across the gap. Once you have done that, head back across the bookshelf. Again, if you fall, you need to make your way back upstairs. Once you've made it across, you will see a pillar directly in front of you. Put a mirror in there and direct the light south. Then head south to that pillar and put a mirror in there and reflect the light east. You're going to head east for another pillar and you're going to put a you're going to put a mirror in there and reflect the light north. Head to the northern part of the room and you should see one more pillar. Place a mirror in there so that the beam of light is now going west. Then go to the western pillar and put a beam in there so that the beam of light is now going north. This should go across a gap. You're going to want to now make your way back downstairs and head to the other side of that gap. The way you do that is you head back to the main room. Once you're in the main room, head north to the four-way yellow light, then head east and continue to head east all the way to the eastern teleporter. Take this teleporter up one level. Once you are upstairs, run west and then run south. You should see a pillar receiving light across a gap. That's the gap. That's the pillar we just did or we're just working on. You're going to want to take your blue crystal and put it into that pillar. That will turn the light to the color we need and that should unlock the next seal. So run north to the seal that you just unlocked and click on the door. 
That will summon the spirit of the library. And again, she will unlock the knowledge that was hidden behind that seal for you. And she will give it to you. Then she will offer to transport you back to the main hub, except as always, and then make sure you check your quest log to make sure we actually did that seal. We are now ready for the last seal. Seal 8, the Seal of Iworth. To start this seal, go to the cube as always, pull the lever, and take absolutely everything from it. Once you have done that, run south, then run east, then run north. You want to make your way up to the four-way yellow pillar. Once you are at the four-way pillar, run directly east to the pillar right to the east of you and put a mirror in there. You want to make the beam go north. Then go to the northern pillar that that beam of light is now hitting and put a mirror in there so that the beam is going east. At this next east pillar, you want to put your red crystal in there, making the light a dark red. At the far east pillar, you want to place a mirror into it. Make the light go north and then head north to the northern pillar. Put another mirror in this northern pillar so the light is now facing west and head to that western pillar. Put another mirror in this western pillar so that the light is now facing north. Go to that northern pillar that the light is now hitting and put another mirror in there. The light should now be facing east. Go to that eastern pillar and now put another mirror in there so that the light is facing north. Go to that northern pillar the light is now hitting. Put another mirror in there so that the light is facing upwards. Then you want to head directly south and take the right teleporter up a level. Once you are upper level, run northeast to the pillar that should be receiving light from below. Once you are at the pillar, put a mirror in there so that the light is reflected northwards. Once the light is reflected northwards, head to the northern pillar and put another mirror in there so that the light is going westbound. Go to the first pillar to your west and put another mirror in there so that the light is facing southwards. Head south to the first south pillar and go ahead and put a mirror in there so that the light is now facing downwards. Go ahead and head south again and take the teleporter back down. You can he now head back to the main hub. Once you're at the four-way yellow in the main hub, you want to head north and put your Scion Crystal in the very first pillar to the north. That is going to turn the light green. Keep heading north, and in the next northern pillar, put your blue crystal, and that is going to turn the light Scion. Keep heading north to the utmost north pillar here, and put a mirror in there so that the light is facing westwards. Then head to the western pillar and put another mirror in there. You are going to want to direct this light down. Once you have done that, head back just south and take the teleporter down a level. Then head northwest slightly and you should see the pillar receiving light from above. Go over to that pillar and put a mirror in it. 
Once you have done that, your light is going to be facing northwards. Run directly north and put a fractured crystal in there so you have a four-way light coming out of that middle northern pillar. Then continue to run north to the upper north pillar and put a mirror in it so that the light is facing eastwards. Head east and put a mirror in there so that the light is now facing upwards. You then want to run slightly south and the southern pillar from there, you want to put another mirror in there so that the light beam is facing southwards. Continue to run south until you see the pillar that that beam of light is hitting. Put another mirror in there so that the beam of light is going east. Run to the first east pillar you see the beam of light hitting and put the green crystal in there. That should turn the line green. Then continue running east to the next pillar and put a mirror in there so that the beam of light is going northwards. Now go to the northern pillar that you see that beam of light hitting and put another mirror in there so that the beam of light is going west. Then go to the western pillar that that beam of light is hitting and put another mirror in there so that the beam of light is going north. Now go to the northern pillar you see that beam of light hitting and put another crystal or another mirror in there so that the beam of light is now facing upwards. Once you have done all of this, you should be able to go back upstairs through the teleporter. Once you have taken the teleporter, run northwest. In the north middle side of that room, you should see the scion light coming up from the bottom. Go ahead and place your purple crystal in there, turning the light a dark bluish color. Then proceed to head east to where you see the green light coming up from the floor and go ahead and put a mirror in that uh, pillar. Make the beam of light head south And then you want to head south back across the room. Once you are at the south part of the room, take the teleporter upstairs. Once you are upstairs, run directly north across the room. Directly north of you should see a pillar receiving the blue light from the floor below. Go ahead and put a mirror in there so that the beam of light is facing southwards. Head directly south to that first pillar and put a mirror in there so that the beam of light is heading back downstairs. Then you can take the teleporter back downstairs. Once you are downstairs, run northeast, and you should have unlocked the final seal. Go ahead and talk to the door. The spirit of the library should appear, and she will grant you the knowledge from the final seal. You should now be done with the worst part of the quest. Go ahead and leave the light puzzle back through the main entrance. I talked to her again so she would teleport me back to the main entrance. You can do that or you can just run there. Make sure before you leave you check your quest guide to make sure you indeed did everything and then head out. When you are back outside, talk to the main elf woman 